A 33-year-old man has appeared in the Queenstown District Court after helicopters fighting a blaze near Wanaka had to be grounded when police say he flew his drone into the area. He's been charged with disregard for the safety of a transport facility, but police say things could have been much worse. Emily Cooper reports. Facing court for flying a drone. A brief appearance before a judge today in Queenstown for Jorge Raquelmi Cruz, charged after allegedly flying a drone into the area of a Wanaka scrub fire, where helicopters were fighting the blaze. He actually has the footage from the drone on his camera, and he is a really long way away. Eight choppers were grounded for 15 minutes when the drone was spotted. Nick Wallace was flying on the day and says the interruption caused major delays. A collision with a drone um, would, be, would be pretty catastrophic. It could potentially bring a helicopter down. At the time of the fire, those in charge were angry the pilot's safety had been compromised and homes put at risk had the fire taken hold. Well, that was um, compromising our safety of our pilots and, uh, and, so, and, and our firefighting activities. Um, we had to sit the helicopters down for a period of time when they could have been, you know, pinching that fire out. There's a lot of communication going on with the pilots coordinating the fire itself and um, you're moving quickly back to get water and then when you're going back to the fire you're, you're planning your next um, water drop. Um, you're not looking for, for drones essentially. So, um, yeah, it would, it would, you wouldn't see it and, until it was too late. Police seized the drone and arrested Raquel May Cruz soon after. If you think about what a, possibly a bird strike or something like that can um, possibly bring down a, an, an aircraft if it goes into the turbine, then, then something the size of this uh, could do exactly the same. A drone pilot in Canterbury was charged after a similar incident in 2015 for getting this footage of a fire with helicopters nearby. Raquel May Cruz argues he wasn't flying as close to the site as police allege. But he could now face prison. The maximum penalty is 14 years. He'll reappear in court at the end of the month. The message for other drone pilots, no matter your experience, think before you fly. Emily Cooper, One News.